This is the Free Computer Consultant. In this screencast, I'm going to cover some of the basic setup parameters for a wireless router. Or really any router, but most of them today are wireless. This is a Netgear, a WGR614. Many other router brands are similar. Now here we're already in the web server internal to the, to the router and in the setup page. If you don't know how to get here, I have a separate screencast on how to do that. First, let's take a look at setting a password. There is a default username and password. You may want to change that. And on this particular model, under maintenance, you'll find set password. Here you type in the old password, put in the new password and repeat it, click apply. And it will likely prompt you to then log in with that new password. So you do want to be careful what you type, how you type it. You may even want to type in something like notepad first so you know for sure what you're typing and then copy and paste it in here. I then recommend either putting a label on the bottom of the router if you're not concerned with others you know, finding that password there or go to my website at www.freecomputerconsultant.com click on the free tools and take a look at password safe which is an excellent way of storing a large variety of passwords and only having to remember one basic password to get into it. The next thing you want to look at is remote access. This is whether or not the router can be accessed and configured from out on the internet. It's a feature. Not very many people will use it, but you'll want to know whether it is on or off. And by default, it should be off and you would place a check here to turn it on. Then you can set other parameters, for instance, uh, IP addresses that you can restrict that to. But for most users, you will just leave this off. Next, what you're going to want to look at are the basic LAN settings. These are the internal address parameters for the router. Now the address of this router by default is 192.168.1.1. However, if you're going to access other networks, maybe a corporate network that you're going to remote into to work at home, if this address conflicts with the address at work, that could be a problem. And you would want to contact your network administrator at that office to find out if it does, and if so, what to change this to. You may want to change this third octet here, for instance, to 101 or something else. If you do that, you will likely then have to update the parameters in DHCP server, which is what hands out addressing to all of your machines. Change that as well to 101. Some routers may do this for you automatically, others will not. I also like to set the addresses up a little way to get them kind of on their own area, so to speak, of the network addressing scheme. And I also like to limit it to just a couple more than the actual devices I have. If I have three or four devices, I might limit this to just five addresses, 51, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then click Apply to make that take effect. Now, once you've done this work, you want to back up the configuration. Most routers will let you do that. Under Maintenance, Backup Settings, you can save a current copy of the backup settings or you can restore settings from a file you previously saved. And another option is to revert to factory default settings. If you really think you might have goofed up, you can revert to the factory settings and start from scratch. Well, that's it for this screencast. We'll be covering other more advanced features and wireless security features in another screencast. Hope you will join us for that. This is the Free Computer Consultant. Please visit my website, www.freecomputerconsultant.com. Thanks for watching this video.